coming for your guns. We don't want to confiscate guns. We don't want to ban all guns. We don't want to get rid of the Second Amendment. Oh, that's crazy, Talk Joe. That's crazy. That's cray cray. That's what the left always says. You guys on the right are crazy, they say. We don't want to get rid of all guns. We don't want... Hey, hey, are you real? We don't want to mess with the Second Amendment. Uh, new polling out yesterday from YouGov, a pretty middle-of-the-road source. Get this. 82% of Democrats favor banning all semi-automatic guns. All of them. 82% of Democrats would ban all semi-automatic guns. Not just semi-automatic rifles. But also handguns. 82% of Democrats would ban them all. Now that I got your attention, can I throw one more at you from this poll by YouGov yesterday? 50, 50, 50, 50 percent of Democrats would ban all guns. Half of the Democrats in this country support banning all guns. Now, the next time somebody on the left tells you that they're not coming, Democrats aren't coming, the left isn't coming for your guns, um, you may want to refer to this new poll done put out yesterday by YouGov, YouGov.com, it, it seems pretty straightforward. 82% of all Democrats would ban all semi-automatic weapons, and 50% of all Democrats would ban all guns. Not just the AR-15, all guns. Not just these things they call assault weapons, even though there is no such thing as an assault weapon. I'm talking about all guns. It's a fight. Uh, this is why we fight. To defend our gun rights. This is why we fight to defend our guns. This is why we fight to defend the Second Amendment, because we do believe, rightly, that there are sizable numbers of people in this country that would, in fact, like to get rid of all guns. And we can't allow that ever to happen in America. Yeah, I, I think it's what at, at the top of every show, you've got that Ra Rachel Maddow on MSNBC. She does that hit on me where she's trying to make me out to look silly and stupid because I did say to her that I believe the Second Amendment is, in fact, the most important amendment I believe in fact that our right to keep and bear arms is in fact our most important right because it does in fact protect every other right we have I believe that in my bones Rachel Maddow and MSNBC laugh at that I believe that But stay vigilant. Those of you who 
are on the side of our gun rights and those of you who are on the side of the Second Amendment, the lesson here, the takeaway here this No Chill Friday is stay vigilant, man. Stay vigilant. And I, I, I will say this. I've been saying this for a year and a half now. Republicans, conservatives, you better wake up because Democrats are crawling across broken glass to vote. Democrats in every single election have been crawling across broken glass to vote since Trump got elected. Democrats are voting in huge, huge numbers, and they're winning in strong, strong Republican areas. We Republicans are not crawling across broken glass to vote. If we don't, and Democrats win in November, our gun rights are in danger. If you haven't been listening to Joe Walsh, here's what you've been missing. Outside of anybody in this country illegally, I just look at you as a person. And, and I look at you as an American. I don't care if you're white, black, brown. I don't care what religion you are. I don't care what your persuasion you are. You're an American to me. That, that has always been the opposite of the way Democrats look at us. Democrats try to slice us and dice us and uh, break us up into these minute little categories. Uh, African Americans and Mexican Americans and single Americans and single women. Married women. Black women. Gay women. Lesbians, transgender, cisgenders. This this identity politics crap is what Democrats live on. You're not black. You're not a black American to me. You're not a white American. You're an American. That's not how Democrats view people in this country. You're a black American. You're a white American. You are a Latino American. And on and on and on it goes. This identity politics. Don't miss your daily dose of civil disobedience. Download full episodes of the Joe Walsh program for free at walshfreedom.com slash podcast. The revolution has been reloaded. You're listening to the Joe Walsh program on the Salem Radio Network. With SRN News, I'm Patrick Fox. A 19-year-old student suspected of killing his parents at a Central Michigan University dormitory and then running from campus has been apprehended. James Eric Davis Jr. was arrested without incident early Saturday. They say Davis was seen on the train passing through the north end of campus shortly after midnight. At least five people have died from the fierce nor'easter that flooded streets, snapped trees in pieces, and knocked out power to more than 1.8 million homes, and businesses continue to lash the Atlantic coast. Former U.S. Senate candidate Roy Moore is asking for donations to pay for his legal bills as he fights a lawsuit against a woman who says he acted sexually inappropriately with her when she was 14. Moore said in his campaign Facebook page that his resources have been depleted. The link indicated that Moore had just raised 32000 of a $250,000 fundraising goal. A rough week on Wall Street ended with the Dow falling 71 points. This is SRN News. Imagine crossing a street busy with traffic. Against the light. Watch where you're going! Wearing a blindfold. Would you do this? Probably not. It's one risk obviously not worth taking. Some risks aren't as obvious. They could be just as deadly. Like the risk for type 2 diabetes. If you're overweight or over 45, if you're not very active, or don't eat as healthy as you should, there's an easy test you can take to find out your risk. It's free, and in less than a minute, you'll know if you're at risk for this deadly disease. Just go to diabetes.org slash take the test or call 1-800-DIABETES because type 2 diabetes is one risk you can't afford to take. Take the diabetes risk test and stop diabetes before it stops you.
A message from the American Diabetes Association. <laughs> MotorCityHelpWanted.com presents the world's worst boss. The one who posts jobs on huge national job sites. Looking for anyone with a pulse. We'll just call him Dave. Okay, everybody, I've called this brainstorm because senior management says we need big ideas. So, what have you got? Well, Dave, how about we... No. Okay, we can try the soap bread. What if we started charging employees to use the bathroom? I love that idea. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks, Dad. Don't work for a Dave. Find a boss you can respect. One who's looking for great and local talent at MotorCityHelpWanted.com. Local jobs that work. This is Albert Moeller for TownHall.com. As we commemorate the life and ministry of Dr. Billy Graham today, there is much that can and should be said about his legacy. But I also have to speak about him in a very personal way. In 1993, when I was elected president of the Southern Baptist Theological Seminary, he indicated he wanted to do whatever he could to help me in the cause of recovering and reforming the school, moving it in a very confessionally, decidedly conservative direction. So I asked him to speak at my inauguration as president of the seminary, and he did. He pointed to the gospel, he pointed to Christ, and he gave an enormous word of affirmation that was invaluable to the great cause of recovering the institution I lead to this day. The best way to honor Billy Graham, I'm confident he'd say, is to preach the gospel he preached. Starting here, starting now. I'm Albert Moeller. The Pepperdine Graduate School of Public Policy, America's unique graduate program. Publicpolicy.pepperdine.edu. There are two radio stations in this city that focus on good news. One has the good news about the economy, jobs, consumer confidence, and the defeat over ISIS. One has the good news about the victory over the cross. One is all about the here and now. The other is all about eternity. To get through the day, you need both. So when you want to know more about the day's news and what to think about it, turn to FM 101.5 and AM 1400, The Patriot. If you want to change your life, turn to FM 92.7 and AM 1500, Faith Talk Detroit. No-Kill, Joe Wallace, former Congressman Joe Wallace, this Friday, this No-Kill Friday. Thank you for listening. Follow me on Twitter at Wall Freedom. Listen to me uh, online. Go to wallfreedom.com slash listen. If you miss a show, catch the podcast, wallfreedom.com slash podcast. Um, a, a good message for everybody to hear this Friday this no-chill Friday, 